Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to talk about sharing the hype. Welcome back to another episode of Advice for Magicians, where my goal is to make you the best possible entertainers that you can be. Now, something that often happens to me at shows is I'll be performing magic, people will love it, and they'll say something along the lines of, have you ever heard of this magician or I saw this magician at my birthday party last year and they were so cool and blah, blah, blah. And hey, have you ever heard of Chris Angel or what do you think of David Blaine, right? Sometimes people will ask you questions about other magicians. Sometimes magicians that maybe you either haven't heard of or might not have the most respect for, for whatever reason, right? What you do not want to do is rain on that magician's parade. Number one, it's going to make you look bad. And number two, it's going to kind of bring the magic community down a little bit. Kind of brings a little bit of a, of a dampening on the whole situation, right? Uh, you just did an amazing show and the person's so excited. Hey, have you ever heard of Chris Angel? And you're just like, ah, yeah, man, I'm better than that Chris Angel guy. Did you know that he doesn't even do real magic? He uses stooges in all of his videos. And now the person's just like, Oh, oh I, I, I like Chris Angel, but if you say he's fake and he just does fake reaction videos and just uses, uses actors, then I guess I don't like Chris Angel anymore. You know, and it's just like such a downer situation. Instead, what I do, regardless if I know the person or maybe if I don't like them or whatever, I'll say something along the lines of, oh, yeah, man, they're so great. And what was your favorite part about it? And then they'll tell you, and oh, that's so cool. I love that too. And hype up the other magicians around you. Again, it's going to make you look great because you don't look like an arrogant prick, right? You look thankful. And oh, yeah, man, if you thought I was good, you should really check out this other guy. Oh, he is so good, right? And it just it gives that magic community a real sense of camaraderie, right? Like everyone... In the community is so close and so tight and we all hype each other up we all respect each other one thing that i like to do is if a client calls me and i'm not available i'll say you know what i'm not available but i'll tell you what let me go ahead and reach out to my really close friend his name is so and so he's an excellent magician you know if you love the stuff that i do you're gonna love what he does even more you know he is so good blah 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 and just really talk that other magician up Obviously, you want to make sure that they can deliver on it, right? You don't want them to be <laughs> like really bad, but you want to hype up that other magician and tell the client, you know, yeah, I got your back. Don't worry. This guy's a great guy. He's going to really take care of you. Uh, let me go ahead and give him a call and make sure he's available and then I'll shoot him your information, you know, and I've had clients even tell me like, oh man, it's so cool how you guys are so willing to communicate with each other to help me out, right? I tried to book a catering company or I tried to book, uh, you know, music act or something. And, and they're like, yeah, well, they weren't available. And it's kind of hung up on me. But you're like, oh, I'm not available. But don't worry. Let me help you. <laughs> Let me help find you a replacement. Right. And uh, that's a really good feeling. Makes the clients happy. And it's overall just in general, a really good look for magicians and the magic community. So highly recommend don't smack talk. Even if you don't like the person, always hype them up. And uh, just be really excited anytime someone asks you about it. Because like I said, you never know. You could be, <laughs> you know, uh, snuffing out that flame that gets someone really excited. Oh, I'm such a Chris Angel fan and I want to be just like Chris Angel. And they're starting to study magic. And you're just like, oh, Chris Angel sucks. And you walk away and they're just like, <sighs> right? And then they don't want to do magic anymore. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more videos just like it, be sure to click the subscribe button, ring the bell, and don't forget to uh, click the join button as well. If you click the join button, you'll become a Mob Squad member. Members get access to a bunch of really cool stuff, including tutorials, early access to videos, emojis, badges, discounts at O'Brien Magic Shop, and I'll even shout you out right here on the channel. All that stuff is just $1 a month, so don't miss out. Become a member, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.